So where's Oktoberfest even take place? It actually takes place at this fairgrounds, basically just east of downtown Munich. And how we find it on a map? Looks like kidney bean. Let's get a quick rundown of how the festival has advanced. In 1810, Ledwick and Therese got married. The following year, the Bavarian Agriculture Association decided to keep it going in celebration of the harvest. In 1818, the first merry-go-round was introduced along with the first beer tents. But they're more like stands, not tents. In 1850, the Statue of Bavaria was unveiled to protect the fairgrounds. In 1885, the first rotisserie chicken was introduced, and that tradition still goes on today. In 1886, electricity was introduced, allowing lights and more rides and more festive festivities to begin. And in 1896, the beer stands were replaced with beer tents. Ta-da! Materials to build all these tents every single year, because they get built up and torn back down, takes about 800 truckloads, up to 35 thousand square meters of flooring is laid 13.5 kilometers of cables will be laid 370 meters of water lines will be laid the smaller tents hold 100 to 700 people the bigger tents up to 10,000 the Stratton Hamill tent alone holds 10,000 people inside and an additional 6,000 people outside of the tent so you might be wondering how much beer is drank every single year at Oktoberfest alone? Last year, 6.5 million liters were drank. The year my hubby and I got married in 2019, 7.3 million liters were drank. And that's just at the festival grounds. Not quite sure what 6.5 million liters of beers looks like. Well, it's about 1.7 million gallons which is about 110,000 kegs worth of beer. That is so much beer to drink in like a two-week span. It's absolutely insane. Since the start of Oktoberfest back in 1810, it has only been canceled 26 times. Times it was canceled during the Napoleon Wars, the cholera epidemic, both of the world wars, and COVID. 